Welcome back to Scar. Now, before we get to our next Scar story, it's time to check back in with one of our favorites. My name is Morgan Wade. It's my face over there. Do I need makeup? A couple years ago, I got a pretty good scar, which was featured in episode two. So they call 911. And since then, there's a contest in New Zealand called X Air. I went over to dirt practice and first jump came up short. Slingshot my face into the ground again. Knocked all my teeth out, my nose broke, and then I went in the dirt. Found my teeth two days later. My third set of teeth and working on it. It was a pretty big hassle, but you gotta deal with it. Now there are a lot of ways to separate your teeth from your mouth. But nothing beats slamming your face into a slab of concrete. This next kid puts a new spin on the old face plan. It's number three. I'm Paul Smith from East Point, Michigan. Holy f dude. And this is my scar story. I've been riding about four or five years. It was the first week of summer vacation. Me and a couple of friends decided to go street riding. Everyone I know is like, yeah, there's this amazing building downtown. It's shaped just like a quarter pipe. This is the point where we start and we just go full speed at it from here. You're aiming at a four inch strip of cement. It's kind of tricky. Kind of risky business. I was kind of taking it easy the first few times just to get the feel of it, so I decided to press the throttle in a little bit more and go faster and higher. Oh my god! Dude, you okay? Oh. We were all going up and no problem. Oh my God. But I was the unlucky one. <laughs> Had no time to react. Oh my God. Just so quick. Oh my God. I was looking up the wall and <laughs> oh my God. didn't even have time to take my hands off the handlebars. God. Holy dude. Uh, I think my jaw is broken. Uh. Like one of my friends actually, he's like, oh my god, he picks up a tooth. Oh yeah, you knock your front tooth out. I actually walk over there, I'm like, that is not my tooth. Yes. Holy Go, Paul. At that point, it's more like I broke my jaw in three spots two on either side and a nice crack in the middle and they put two plates in my chin as far as scars go i got a small one on my chin and uh the best of all was a uh, new set of pearly whites i got this guy i know used to run a website and uh so i sent it to him and he's like oh my god that's the most up thing i've ever seen he put it on his website, just kind of spread like cancer through the internet. Holy dude. It's kind of weird coming back here after seeing the video so much. I don't like coming back. I'm never going to ride this place again. Oh my god! It's just not worth it. What is it about rollerbladers that makes them so prone to injury? Oh yeah, they do stupid like this. This next kid is number two. I'm Brandon Mateer. I'm from Shawnee, Kansas. And this is my scar story. My left ear's like fog or something. There's blood coming out of it. Huh. 
started skating in 93, saw people doing some rails, and I just got hooked ever since. The day started off in, in Barcelona because we'd flown out there to work on our video. Everybody was getting clips, everybody was having a really good time. Everybody was on point. And we're walking up these stairs, and I see this rail as we're going up the stairs. So immediately I'm just like, I got this. If I would have gotten a little faster or jumped a little higher, we wouldn't be here right now. All it takes is just an inch to someone up. I remember rolling up, I remember jumping, but then nothing. I don't remember the fall. I don't remember anything in between. When I jumped to the rail, just because I was off by like an inch, it just threw my whole sense of gravity off and just brought me down. But at least gravity still works, I guess. It's proof right there. That's a lot of blood. I think my friends are kind of freaked out about all the blood coming out. Since the skull was fractured, I guess like all the pressure just started building up and then the blood had to go somewhere. I woke up in the hospital and first thing I think to myself, I'm like, wow, I know something happened. They basically just told me I've been in a coma for like seven days. And I, I honestly didn't believe him just because it's basically seemed like one moment I'm skating and the next moment I'm in a hospital bed with a tube down my throat and hooked up on all these machines. Basically the permanent damage I have is my lack of smell. I can't smell anymore. I just can't smell. My memory is kind of off now. Like I have a harder time remembering names and dates. So that, that's a bummer. That thought, it's always in my head, like when I'm approaching something, when I'm about to do something, I'll just get like a little flash in my head. And then I just try to ignore that thought and just do it. So we've been counting down this week's sickest clips. But before we get to the most f***ed up clip, let's do a little recap. Number five. Ah! Number four. Holy f***. Number three. Number two. Now, if your stomach still ain't turning, then take a look at this. That's right, it's our most f***ed up clip of the day. G'day, my name's Alex Liu from Sydney, Australia, and this is my scar story. Ah! I was in the air, like, flying. Just coming down to land, I'm like... Crikey! <laughs> Uncle Weirdy! Coming back here, it's definitely like a strange place to be, especially today, because I'm talking about it a whole bunch, so it's definitely making me feel like uh, reliving it. Ever since I woke up that morning, it was almost like that was going to happen that day. Weird. I was at home doing homework. I'm like, yeah, this is getting boring. I'm going out riding. So we're riding and I just wasn't feeling like excited. Uh, it was like, oh, I want to do something exciting. I saw stairs. Just huge 12 flat 12. Crikey, it was big. Went to the top. Let's just do the Are you serious? Are you serious? And just went for it. I came down, bunny hopped through the little barriers, came along here, and I must have got to about here when I realized, like, Crikey! It's me! Just before I took off, you get that rush of, like, yep, yeah, I'm gonna do it, and I just hopped as hard as I could. Just before you land, you're telling yourself, I'm gonna do it, sort of, like, laughing in the face of fear, you're just like, yeah! <laughs> I'm like, yes, I've cleared it. And then, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, the ambulance is on that way. What went wrong? I blame the bike. Oh, 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 oh. Holy, holy, the wheels 
Lucky it's not me. I think it broke just here on the weld. There's like a weld here. It just exploded on impact. I came down. Like a ton of bricks. Will. Bone death. Like a dead puppet. Pancake mix. Grinded on my. Grinded on my. Grinded on my face. Blood. Ejaculating out all over the place. Face explosions on the ground. Hey Matt, three percent. Ended up laying right against this garden here. There's blood marks, like yeah. When I came to, I'm like, what happened? They're like, you died, man. Bone death. The pain was like a thousand wooden hookers touching me in the anus, and I was just on fire. just grinded me apart. I got scars there. There's a bone poking out where my nose twisted. Little scars on the joints where I just grinded along like a dead puppet and on my wrist there. I bit my lip off. My lip was inside my mouth just dangling off. I got stitches and stuff. It's all thick like Play-Doh. The lip got pretty much the worst damage besides the tooth. That's a good party trick. That crash changed me. Uncle Faraday! For maybe three months afterwards, I kept having that reoccurring like. I asked myself, did it really happen to me? Yeah, baby! Lucky for me, the wheel got more than I did. I don't try anything that big. That is a potion of death.